What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Preeminent Designs HD and today I have episode 2 of my series called After Effects Basics where I go over the basics in After Effects that can be extremely useful to After Effects users. Now as you guys see from the title of today we're going to be learning about layer styles and layer styles is basically the blending options of After Effects. Now if you guys don't know what blending options is it's from Photoshop and is what a lot of After Effects users will do is that they'll make an image in Photoshop and then they'll take it on over to After Effects and have to export it and have to do all this extra crap that doesn't need to be done. So let's just hop in Photoshop and let's see what I'm talking about. So as you guys see, I just have a regular text file right here. You know, you can't really see it too well, um, but after I add the blending options, it pops and it's reinvented. So if we just right click on our text file and we go to blending options, as you guys see, it has a bunch of styles on it. Now it has drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, etc., etc. And all this stuff can just manipulate the style and the layer. So is what we have done is we added a drop shadow and an inner shadow. And as you guys see, it makes the text look way more nicer. So I'm going to head on over to After Effects and I'll show you guys how to recreate this image right in After Effects without using Photoshop. So as you guys see right here, I've already recreated it and everything. It just has a white solid and the word tutorial on it. So let's just go up to Composition, New Composition. And I'm just going to name this composition name Tutorial. And then your width and height doesn't really matter. I'm going to use 1280 by 720. And my frame rate's going to be set at 59.94. Now your duration and background color is totally up to you guys. But I'm just going to leave it like this and press OK. And then I'm going to come up here to Layer, New, and Solid. And I'm just going to lay down a white solid and say OK. All right, so now I have a white background. And is what I'm going to do is now come up to my toolbar and click on our typing tool. All right, and now I'm just going to type the name tutorial. And we're just going to center this up in our composition right about there. All right, so now we just have this boring text on this white composition. So now is what we can do is we can come down here into our um, box and click on tutorial. And now that'll uh, select that. And we just want to right click and go to layer styles. Now layer styles as you guys see has all the options Photoshop has which is our drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, etc, etc just like Photoshop. Now so what we can do is we can just click on drop shadow right click again, go to layer styles again and click an inner shadow. And now we have basically the same styles that we have put in Photoshop. Now what we have to do is we just have to manipulate the drop shadow and inner shadow to match up to what we did in Photoshop. So we just open up Drop Shadow, and um, your distance is how far out the Drop Shadow will go. So your distance, I'm just going to put as 1, and your spread is how far the Drop Shadow uh, goes. So I'm just going to put that as 5, and my size, I'll do about 10. Alright, so there's our Drop Shadow. So we can just come up here and just click this down, and we can just open up our Inner Shadow now. And then we want our Choke. We're going to set our choke to about, we'll set it to about 3, our distance set it at about 1, and our size set it at about, we'll just leave it at 5. And that's basically how you add your layer styles. Now as you guys see, it looks just like I did in Photoshop. So now you guys can cancel out Photoshop, none of that exporting crap that you guys usually do in Photoshop to After Effects is all canceled out and now you guys don't have to export anymore. So guys, I hope this tutorial really helped you out, and if it uh, if it did, please leave a comment in the comment sections below, leaving your guys' feedback, and if you guys do have any requests for upcoming After Effects Basics videos, just leave them down there in the comment sections as well. One more thing I do ask from you viewers and subscribers, please give this video a like if it helped you out, and you know, it only takes two seconds. If you're kind of slow, it might take three to five seconds, depending on your uh you know your ability um, but it really would help me out guys and it keeps these coming so guys until next time my name's Andrew or preeminent designs HD and I make your visions a reality